There's something for everyone on the quest when it comes to online games. From going clubbing to sword battles and everything in between, social and multiplayer experiences have always been a huge part of the quest and VR in general. But now more than ever, it's becoming even more important for those who are unable to leave their homes. Whether you're meeting with friends and family or hanging out with total strangers and making new friends, social interaction in VR is about as close as you can get to actually being with someone without having to leave your living room. So let's check out all of the social and multiplayer games and experiences currently on the quest in no particular order. Number one, Elven Assassin. If you've ever watched the Lord of the Rings movies and dreamed of being Legolas firing arrows at orcs and trolls to protect Middle-earth, then this game may very well make your dreams come true. Elven Assassin puts you in the role of, well, an Elven Assassin. Although this game is a wave shooter, I personally think it's a lot of fun. You can jump from perch to perch by shooting an arrow at the location. Although the single player is fun, the multiplayer is where it's at. Join a team of archers and see what level you can get to. With different spells you can place on your arrows and some upgrades to your armor, the game is fun, entertaining, and dream fulfilling for some of us. I mean, some people. Elven Assassin is $14.99. Number two, Orbis VR Reborn. Orbis VR Reborn is interesting to me because there are some pretty strong opinions on the game in both directions. First of all, it's a VR MMORPG, and even though it has simplistic graphics, there is a lot you can do in the game. There are four playable classes and tons of activities you can do and places to visit in the game. You can do dungeons and raids, upgrade weapons, PVP. There is literally hours and hours of stuff to do, but here's the thing. You really need to make some friends and join in with other people for it to be worth it to me. Yes, if you are a lone wolf, that's okay, but the game seems to really take form and become fun when you have others to play with. And if you're just starting out, it's a really good idea to find an experienced player who can kind of walk you through everything. Fortunately, the community in the game seems to be pretty awesome and not toxic like some of the other games I've played. Plus, now with the price permanently reduced to $19.99, it's even more tempting to jump into. If you're a fan of MMORPGs, then this is probably a pretty safe bet now at that price. Number three, Rush. Ever wanted to jump off a mountain and fly through the air in a wingsuit while dodging snow-covered peaks at breakneck speeds, trying to avoid a bone-shattering crash? Yeah, me neither, at least not in real life. In VR though, we have Rush, which lets you do all of that and more in VR. Rush will have you whipping through the air as you race through five different tracks with over a hundred different mountain paths. You can even jump into multiplayer and race your friends or random racers down the mountain. One thing this game really captures well is the sense of speed. It's totally awesome to jump off the platform with three of your friends screaming and cheering at each other all the way down. If you're looking for a social adrenaline rush, this game is $19.99. Number four, Tribe XR DJ School. If you're looking for a place to drop some sick beats, no, not those beats, then Tribe XR DJ School is your best bet. This experience lets you import your own tracks and mix and rock out to your heart's content with a full pro VR mixing system. Invite some friends into your room and hang out, chat, and let them dance to your funky music. If you're a music lover or you just want to learn how to start mixing, this is a great way to spend some time and hang out with your friends. Tribe XR DJ School is $19.99. Number five, Sculpture VR. Another creative tool, Sculpture VR gives you the ability to create huge sculptures and worlds with its intuitive creative tools, like its 10,000 times zoom, so you can get right down and detailed. You can also join up to four people in a multiplayer room and work together to build the next big epic art piece. Then once it's done, you can hang glide over your creation to get a better view. You can even upload your creations for others to see or check out the hundreds of other creations done by others. Sculpture VR is a lot of fun for those artistic people out there and it costs $9.99. Number six, King Spray Graffiti. Well, since we're already talking about an artistic tool, let's check out my favorite. King Spray Graffiti is some of the most fun I've had in VR when it comes to creating. I've never done any kind of graffiti in my life, but this is a crazy cool, and according to many people, very realistic experience. This experience lets you tag different locations, 10 different and unique ones to be exact, with realistic paint and nozzle types, and whatever color you want. But one of the best aspects of this game is the social aspect. Join up to four people to create a crazy art piece, or you can even pick up some tips and tricks by watching other people do their thing. I'm not an artist by any stretch of the imagination, but this is even fun to me, and I was able to create some pretty cool stuff. Trust me, if you want to be creative or want something you can sink hours into, then check it out. King Spray is $14.99. Number seven, half plus half. This next game is not only fun and unique, it's also free, which is amazing. Half Plus Half is designed to encourage social interaction between friends and strangers in five different games. Whether you're playing Hide and Seek or Human Tetris, this game is sweet and innocent and it's just a joy to play. If you want some unique interactions and some laughs, then this game is the game for you. 
Plus, you can't go wrong with free. Number eight, Rec Room. Speaking of free, Rec Room has long been one of my best recommended free multiplayer games on any VR platform. As I've mentioned previously, there can be some vulgar people in the game, especially young kids it seems, but there are settings you can change to keep that at bay and also report people to mods as well. Paintball and Laser Tag are my two go-to games, but you can also hang out and have fun bowling or shooting pool or a whole bunch of other things. I also love the ability to get creative and create your own rooms or visit tons of other user-created rooms. There is a ton to do in Rec Room, so get ready to play for a few hours and still want more. Number nine, Big Screen. We're on a roll now, so let's stick with another free application. Big Screen is a super unique and awesome social experience. You can either create your own room and hang out with friends or even stream content from your PC to watch. You can jump into another user created room and watch movies and TV shows, or you can jump into one of the free movie channels on big screen to watch a movie. By and large, my favorite part of big screen though is the cinema. And although the application is free, the cinema does require you to purchase a movie ticket. Each week they play four different movies in the cinema, both 2D and 3D titles. The best part is the quality of the movies is just crazy good. And you can either sit in a public theater to watch with others, or you can create your own room and have the theater to yourself or invite friends that also have a ticket and watch the movie together. It's a totally unique experience that I absolutely love. Number 10, Creed Rise to Glory. If you're looking for a way to beat the living tar out of opponents online, then Creed is for you. In Creed Rise to Glory, you can not just play the single player campaign, but also jump into an online match and face off against a real opponent. Feel like the next Rocky as you bob and weave and land that knockout blow. Although Creed isn't my favorite boxing game overall, that goes to Thrill of the Fight, it's the only online multiplayer boxing game and it's still a ton of fun. Creed is $29.99. Number 11, Dead and Buried 2. When it comes to online shooters, the quest has very few, and Dead and Buried 2 is one that many people, including myself, forget. It's not that it's a bad game in some ways, just that a lot of it is just mediocre. You can play in either online deathmatch or what's called shootout mode, which puts you in a static position shooting at your enemies. The western shooter has some fun elements to it, and if you can't find enough players, it'll fill the room with bots for you. If you're looking for an online shooter with a western theme, then this is probably your best bet. Well, technically, it's your only one at the moment. Dead and Berry 2 is $19.99. Number 12, Wander. If you want to travel the world with a friend from the comfort of your own home, then check out Wander. Wander uses Google Street View to allow you to go pretty much anywhere you want around the world. Visit Rome, Alaska, or even Disney World. By inviting friends along, it makes the journey that much more fun. Show your friends or family members where you grew up or what are your favorite vacation spots. It's hard to understand how much better street views look in VR until you try it. You can sink hours and hours just exploring the world. Wander is $9.99. Number 13, Raccoon Lagoon. First, let me start off by saying this game is just fun in the first place in single player. I love that you can cut down trees, garden, fish, and when multiplayer comes into the mix, it's just even more fun. You can hang out and chat or do some exploring together on your friend's island or jump over to your island and catch a few fish or take care of your massive gardens. This game reminds me so much of Harvest Moon or something similar and having friends to play with is a ton of fun. Plus the little animals are just too cute. Raccoon Lagoon is $14.99. Number 14, Sports Scramble. If you're a sports lover, then this might be right up your bowling alley. Sports Scramble lets you play tennis, baseball, or bowl with some crazy twists, and you can do it with friends in multiplayer. It can be hard to find a match at times, but if you have friends to play with, that won't be a problem. You can also turn off the scramble mode and just play regular bowling, tennis, or baseball. Either way, if you have that multiplayer sports itch, this might just scratch it. Sports Scramble is $29.99. Number 15, Cloudlands 2. Now that we've mentioned sports games, we might as well talk about a few other ones. And the first one is Cloudlands 2. This game is actually quite a fun golf game, even if it is somewhat simple with simple visuals. The game is a mixture of traditional golf and mini golf, but it gets way better when you invite some friends in to see who is the better VR golfer. There are three different courses, but you can also create your own course or play user creations out of the thousands of holes. This game may not look like much, but you'll be howling with laughter as you watch your friends struggle to get the ball out of the sand trap from the green. Cloudlands 2 is $19.99. Number 16 and 17. 11 Table Tennis and Racket Fury. Keeping the sports theme rolling, let's talk about two table tennis games. 11 Table Tennis, in my opinion, the best table tennis VR game, and Racket Fury. Both games are a lot of fun, but my personal opinion is that 11 Table Tennis nails the realism and physics of table tennis. It's fun, realistic, and it can be super competitive. Jumping into a match with a friend or stranger lets you chat back and forth and just enjoy the company while also playing table tennis in either a dorm room or a mountain loft. On the flip side, Racket Fury is also fun, but more arcade-like than realistic, and visually, it's designed to be more futuristic and sci-fi. Racket Fury is still fun, but if I was to choose one, I would take 11 Table Tennis for sure, and since they're both $19.99, it makes it an easy choice for me. Number 18, Racket NX. Racket NX is sort of a sport, right? I mean, if sports were set in space while hitting a giant energy ball into the walls of a dome to get points. Racket NX is a ton of fun and can be very challenging in multiplayer. It's kind of a mixture of breakout and racket ball with a little pinball thrown in for good measure. It's frantic, fast-paced, and makes for either an amazing feeling victory or what can be a crushing defeat. The quest really does a great 
great job of this game because you'll be spinning in circles the entire time. Racket NX is $19.99. Number 19 and number 20, Poker Stars VR and Poker VR. Well, if you love poker and want to play online, there is no shortage of options for you. Poker Stars VR and Poker VR are both great choices when it comes to jumping into a table and playing some good old fashioned poker. With the added benefit of Poker Stars VR also having a ton of fun props you can get and play around with. You can also turn off the props if you just want to stick to poker. Not much to say really about these as they're both free and either one can be fun, although at this point in time, I actually prefer Poker Stars VR over Poker VR, which switched since the last time I talked about them. Number 21, Skyworld Kingdom Brawl. At launch, this game ran into some issues, but with it now fixed, this can be a fun and interesting online card battle game. This feels like a mixture of card battling and RTS as you stack your deck and lead your troops to a hard fought victory. You can join clans, work your way up the leaderboard and challenge your friends and strangers to PVP battles in 20 different arenas. There are even online tournaments for you to join. Even though this can be a more simplistic version of card battle than some might like, I enjoyed it as someone new to card battles. Skyworld Kingdom Brawl is $9.99. Number 22, Drop Dead Dual Strike. This one is another wave based shooter, but oh so fun. If you love splattering zombie brains and laughing with friends while doing it, then this is a game you should check out. Drop Dead Dual Strike is one of those games that can be fun and frustrating as you work your way up into higher wave levels. Stand your ground with another player while you fight to stay alive from the zombie onslaught. The single player in this game is a lot of fun as well, so for me this is a great option for zombie game fans. Drop Dead Dual Strike is $14.99. Number 23, Arizona Sunshine. Here is another zombie game in Arizona Sunshine. This game is quite a bit different in that the story mode has a single player campaign, but you can also play it co-op, which really makes the game even better. You can either play through the game in co-op or jump into the zombie horde mode, which will have you running around searching for ammo and fighting to stave back the horde and unlocking rooms in areas of the map as you go. This game has faced some backlash due to what people say are lackluster visuals, and although it is true that the game isn't a spectacle to look at, it's still a fun time hunting zombies with a friend. Arizona Sunshine is $39.99. Number 24, Swords of Gargantua. I originally wasn't a huge fan of this game because I said it was very bland and everything looked and felt the same. Since then, there have been quite a few updates to the game, including the adventure mode Tesseract Abyss, and people seem to really dig the updates. Although I haven't personally jumped in to try them yet, it does look much more fun. This game is a sword combat game that throws you into an arena to fight against multiple enemies alongside your friends. Level up your skills and equipment while parrying, blocking, and attacking to become the ultimate warrior and face off against the massive titan Gargantua. Swords of Gargantua is $19.99. Number 25, VR Karts Sprint. I'm only mentioning this game long enough to say steer clear from it. And no, that is not meant to be a funny pun. I hate to be so hard in a game, but this game just isn't worth the money. It's not fun to me and the game overall just is not great. To me, it's not anywhere near worth the $14.99 price tag. Number 26, Dash Dash World. Now, if you're looking for a kart racer that is a lot of fun, then check out Dash Dash World. The game isn't in the store just yet, but if you head to the link in the description, you can get added to the beta, which is totally free and doesn't require a PC. With the newest update just released, this game keeps getting better and better. With multiple carts and tracks and crazy and fun weapons, this game to me is a true kart racer, and it's as close to Mario Kart and VR that we have right now. And the multiplayer is just a blast. Number 27, Death Lab. Another racing game, Death Lab is like a crazy combo of Twisted Metal and Mario Kart of sorts. Race around the crazy tracks as you try to blow up and maim your enemies along the way. Multiplayer is fun, but you can't choose to join in with friends as it's just random. This game does take some getting used to, and it's not perfect, but it is fun, and if you enjoy some racing with a big helping of rocket launchers, then you'll probably enjoy it. Death Lap is $19.99. Number 28, Sirento VR Untethered. Unlike its PC counterpart, this futuristic ninja assassin combat game doesn't have a PvP multiplayer mode, but it does have a co-op mode, so you can face up against the baddies and bosses together. To me, this is one of the most underrated combat games on the quest, with the ability to dual wield different weapons, slash enemies with your sword, bullet time, wall running, back flipping, you name it, if it's a crazy combat move, you can probably make it work. This game is visceral and bloody and strangely satisfying, and the co-op makes it that much more fun. Tag team the bosses and slice apart your foes together with a friend in futuristic Japan. Sirento VR Untethered is $19.99. Number 29, Path of the Warrior. One of my personal favorite co-op games, Path of the Warrior, throws you into a side-scrolling action beat-em-up and tells you to beat the crap out of the bad guys in order to save the city. And you can use pretty much anything you can get your hands on. Fried chicken, pool cues, axes, and the best part, you can do it all with a friend. This nostalgic fighter is some of the most online fun I've had on the quest playing with Gamertag VR. There is something just amazing about fist bumping in VR and then turning around and kicking a whole bunch of butt. You can even take a tender moment and defeat each other to bring your health back up. 
Path of the Warrior is 1999. Number 30, Akron Attack of the Squirrels. This game is a little different than the rest, as one person plays in VR as a tree, trying to protect its nuts, uh, I mean acorns, and the other players play as the squirrels trying to steal the acorns on their phones or tablets. Although this game can be a ton of fun with local multiplayer, it doesn't have to be local. Meaning if you have a quest and you have friends and family that don't but want to play together, have them download the app on their Android or iOS device and give them the room code. Then you can play together from anywhere. It's a lot of fun and it's a unique way to bring people from far distances together. Akron is 1999. Number 31, Dance Central. If you're longing to go out clubbing with your friends, have no fear, Dance Central is here. In Dance Central, you can hang out with your friends and go dancing together. You can customize your avatar and even take some in-game selfies with friends then jump out on the dance floor for a dance party or dance competition. I'm not a dancer myself, so this would be a super awkward game to watch me play. Maybe I should try it then, you might find it funny. But for those of you that love to dance and hang out with your friends, this is a great virtual option to do just that. Dance Central is $29.99. Number 32, Star Trek Bridge Crew. This game is like a dream come true for many people. Jump into the Star Trek universe and form a crew of four players, each with different roles from captain to engineer. Explore the universe, rescue stranded ships, fight off enemies from Star Trek, all while hanging out with friends. How can you get much better than joining in together to make the universe a better place with a decent length story mode and endless procedurally generated missions. This will keep you playing for hours and hours. Star Trek Bridge Crew is $29.99. Number 33, Wands. Want to feel like Harry Potter and battle it out in wizardry combat? Wands is the right game for you. With tons of different upgrades to both your magic and appearance, as well as a very competitive leaderboard in tournaments, Wands has a lot to keep you busy. Blasting your opponents with spells, protecting yourself with charms, and coming out on top as the triumphant wizard has such a satisfying feeling to it. It plays fast and well, and it's just a blast to play with both friends and strangers. Wands is $19.99. Number 34 and 35, VR Chat and Alt Space VR. I'm gonna be honest with you about both of these. I don't know enough and haven't spent enough time in either to really give you my opinion on them or to say much about them, but they are both huge online social platforms. VR Chat is an interesting place to say the least. The time I've spent there has been fun, but it can be a bit crazy and odd at times. There is a huge community with custom rooms and quite a bit to do. Alt Space VR, on the other hand, seems to be a little more grounded and based around hanging out and attending different online functions like comedy shows or TED Talk style speeches about specific topics. No doubt there is a ton to explore in both free experiences, so make sure to check it out for yourself. Now some bonus games. These next couple of games are kind of bonus games that are on the Quest Store, but that you can still gain access to using side loading. The first game is obviously Pavlov Shack. This game is probably one of the most, if not the most, popular online game on the Quest, and it's rare not to find plenty of players to play with. This this game does require side loading unfortunately, but if you want to know how to set that up, check out my other video in the description. The other game is Hyper Dash, another online multiplayer FPS that is gaining steam and is a lot of fun as well. This game also requires side loading, but again, it's not really that hard if you follow the instructions. Phew. So that is all of the Oculus Quest multiplayer social experiences currently on the Quest. Did I miss any that need to be on the list? Let me know down in the comments. And if you want to get the most out of your Quest, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon for notifications. Thanks so much for watching. Stay healthy and happy questing.